Hi everyone, my name's Genevieve and I'm gonna read you a story. So this is a very special story. It's called Be My Friend, A Yeti Tale. It's by two wonderful gentlemen that I know personally who are very kind human beings. Um, this is Ross Kearney and Nate Rainey. When Ross saw that I was reading children's books, he asked if I would read his book, so he sent me a copy. Thank you again. Really enjoying it. <clears throat> so, without further ado, Be My Friend, A Yeti's Tale by Ross Kearney and Nate Rainey, who are both Maine local authors. Be My Friend, Be My Friend, A Yeti's Tale by Ross Kearney and Nate Rainey. 2015. <clears throat> so the first is just words. Once atop a mountain in a place called the Himalayas, there lived a Yeti who was all alone. I wish I wasn't so alone up here, said the Yeti. Maybe I could make some friends in those villages down there. So the Yeti decided to climb down the mountain. On his way down, the Yeti came across a beautiful cabin. <clears throat> Maybe there's someone inside who would like to be my friend thought the Yeti. I'll knock and see if anyone's home. Smart idea. Um, an old man opened the door, then screamed and slammed it when he saw the Yeti. That's too bad. He seemed like a nice old man, says the Yeti. <clears throat> wow, look at all these people. Surely one of them will be my friend. A little man came up beside the Yeti. Hey, how would you like a job? He asked. Sure, answered the Yeti. Will you be my friend? Of course, replied the man. Yeti was happy with his job. Lots of people came to get their picture taken with him. A brother and sister got their picture taken with the Yeti. <clears throat> Will you be my friends? He asked. The children looked at him funny and then walked away. This looks serious. Mister, why will no one else be my friend? Asked the Yeti. The man answered, be quiet and do your job. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Asked Yeti. The little old man became angry. What am I, your friend? Get to work. So Yeti left. Friends shouldn't treat each other that way, he said. That's a smart Yeti. Friends should be nice to each other, huh? I love love. These might be my two favorite pages. Artistically, the drawings are really cool, right? <clears throat> the Yeti headed west, hoping to find a true friend. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around, thought the Yeti, standing before a tall, tall castle. Maybe whoever lives here is just as lonely as me. Love the contrast. <clears throat> He made his way to the entrance and he knocked on the large wooden door. The sound echoed far inside the castle walls. Good evening, said the pale man. I am Vlad. <clears throat> Would you like to come to dinner? Hi. 
How long will you be staying? asked the lad. Well, answered the Yeti, I've been very lonely on my mountaintop, so I'd like to stay for as long as you'll have me. I'm happy to hear that, said Vlad, as he stood up and walked towards the Yeti. Then, when he was close enough, Vlad tried to bite the Yeti. Yeti was shocked. He pushed Vlad away from him. Friends do not bite each other without permission, Yeti said. I don't want to be your friend anymore. Yeti left the castle and continued his search for a true friend. Note the sign. Isn't it cute? <clears throat> the Yeti soon found himself in a city called London. He couldn't believe his eyes. There are so many people here, squirreled the excited Yeti. Someone here must want to be my friend. While exploring, Yeti found himself in a movie studio. Oh, wow, I love movies. Maybe I can make friends with a movie star. Yeti wandered around the lot. This place is amazing. Soon a movie director approached Yeti. Hey, pal, would you like to help us out? He asked. Eager to be in a movie and make new friends, the Yeti agreed. <clears throat> the director brought Yeti into a big room full of cameras and lights. He introduced Yeti to a young actress. So for this scene, I want you to come out of the woods growling and clawing, he said the director. Do your best to scare her. But I don't want to scare her. I don't want to scare anyone. Can't we all be friends? asked Yeti. The director replied, well, buddy, I'll be your friend if you just do this one thing for me. If you were a real friend, you wouldn't ask me to do something I don't want to do, cried Yeti as he left the studio. It's true. <clears throat> Yeti continued north. The city and movie people weren't for him. I'm tired of walking, complained Yeti. When will I ever find a friend? Yeti found a massive lake and sat down by its shore. It's so quiet and lovely out here, kind of like home. Maybe I should just stay here and save myself the walk back. Suddenly, suddenly a flying saucer appeared, blinding the Yeti with a weird light. A strange voice came from the saucer. We've come to take you to our planet for our zoo. The light began pulling Yeti up into the sky. Ooh. But then something came up out of the water. It was Nessie, the lonely monster of Loch Ness. She grabbed Yeti's leg and pulled and pulled with all her might. <clears throat> Finally, the saucer gave up and flew away. Thank you very much for saving me. I'm Yeti. What's your name? I am Nessie. I've been so terribly lonely because I can never leave this lake. I saw you in trouble and wanted to help said Nessie. I've also been lonely, said Yeti. Would you like to be my friend? I'd like that very much, said Nessie. So Yeti and Nessie became true friends because they really cared about one another. They lived happily ever after. 
playing together and enjoying each other's company. The end. What a wonderful story. So after this, the back page talks with the author, say thank you. So Ross would like to thank Jess who convinced me to write the story down and Suzanne without whom I never would have published it. And Nate wants to thank Carol and Donnie for being cute, Arcadia National Bar and Ross for an exciting opportunity. Isn't that sweet? It's all about friendship. They even mentioned their friends, authors and illustrators does. The end. Oh, and this is the back. It says Good Yeti Books. Thank you for listening today. My name's Genevieve, and I read a very special book called Be My Friend. <laughs> Be My Friend. Um, it's a Yeti's Tale by Ross Kearney and Nate Rainey. Be My Friend. It's so sweet. Um, well, thank you for listening today. Uh, again, my name is Genevieve. Make sure you are sweet to yourself and sweet for your grown-ups and take care of each other and listen to your adults. They know a lot about the world. And make sure whatever you do, kindness goes through. And most importantly, be excellent to each other. Thanks. Take care.